Welcome back. Time for Eleven Fitness, and Kelly Wachinski, fitness director of the Maryland Athletic Club, joins us. And you have a really ugly thing in your hand. So we have the pretty muscle, five pounds. Pretty. And we have this is five pounds of fat. So you know, a lot of people are afraid of gaining muscle. Yeah. But this isn't scary if that's all over your body, no, right? No, but this is really this scary. This is scary. And this is generally what people... Right. The holidays. Kelly, you can't put it no, anywhere you on you, Kelly. Don't even try. And that's not how it works. It does, you know, distribute no, differently. But no. just wanted to have that visual for you. Thank you. It's very depressing. Yes, yes. Well, so and it's motivating. Important. And motivating. Right. All right. But what's important to remember is the more muscle and the more muscle you work, the more calories you're going to burn during exercise and then after exercise when the muscles are repairing. Okay. So if I'm here, right, yeah. I'm working two very small muscles, not as much calorie burn and definitely not as much calorie burn after the workout. Right. So we're going to show you a few where you're mm. going to use your entire body. Maximizing. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Now I could do something as simple as sitting and standing. Only because a lot of people, when they squat, they don't know where to be. You know, they're mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. um, I can hold the dumbbells. I don't have to. I could even throw something in here where I'm stepping up and shoulder press. But even holding here will be an isometric for the upper body. Right? So why did you bring the chair out here today? Really? I just like to make sure people can see proper form. So if oh. I were going to squat without it, I absolutely can. Gotcha. I don't need to. Okay. But... This makes people nervous. Am I doing it right? Because you do want to squat like you're reaching for a chair mm -hmm. and you're going low enough. Okay. Full range of motion. Gotcha. Okay. Right. That, I was wondering why you brought it out here. It, yeah. I thought no, you were going to just chill out and not really do any work today. Oh, well, I <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> you thought about it. Maybe next okay. time. Okay. We did nap that one time. Yes. Remember? Jennifer yeah. napped. We, on we television. napped and breathed for sure. That was the best workout. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one here, we're going to get an isometric hold with the lower body. Here, I'll Maybe move I'll the, show fat. You the one from the, the fat's in the way as you yeah. go. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're going to uh -huh. hold a lunge, and I can get a bicep curl here, I can get a bicep curl and press. And with any of these, I would go to sets of 15. Start there. If you have very light weight, yeah. if the only weights you have only allow you to do eight, start there. So this is really the, the best, this is the best way to do any kind of weightlifting, is to Absolutely. just get everything engaged. Incorporate as many joints as possible, as many muscles as possible. Um, that's going to be the best way to start your um, your training program, but also it does take a lot of coordination. So I would meet with someone who can show you these things in person. As I well. was gonna bring that point right. up about coordination, being right. one who is a little challenged on that front. Right. Well, <laughs> and that's okay. So start with something simple like the sit and stand. That's yeah. why the chair is very yeah. nice. Or do you have to hold that lunge that low? No, you could stand here uh -huh. and do the curl. And I would imagine the more you do it, the more you bring it into your routine, the more coordinated you do become. I mean, that does Absolutely. happen. Yeah. And then we have push-ups. Everybody's, you know, everybody's seen them. Whether they're comfortable doing them is yeah. a whole other thing. But we have some modifications. So I could be here, and my first push-up might look like this. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Just right here. If you can go lower, great. And that's a tricep push-up. Once your shoulders or your hands are out wider, yes, your shoulders can be a little bit compromised. So we don't want to necessarily start out here, even though that's the tendency. And then, of course, the progression for here for a push-up would be up on the toes hips down. You don't want to be here, although this is safer than here. Definitely do, don't be yeah. doing any of this. But Can I tell you, Kelly, in 2015, I want to get really good at push-ups. Jennifer, you're good at them. No, yes, you well, are. I, push I want to get really good in 2015. So, so what you can do is you can start from the top like I just showed you, yeah. or another option is start on the ground. I know it feels funny, and you'll, you might look like this at the beginning, mm -hmm. but if you can pick your whole body up off the ground as if you're in a plank position, yeah. that will help. That's ideally what it would look like. So start like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That way, and then when you go the opposite, lower yourself down. Please don't drop yourself from too far and hit your face, but yeah, try to control it. <laughs> told you about the coordination. <laughs> exactly. So you start on the ground for you yeah. specifically. I will start on the ground. Thank you. That you're is my welcome. goal. I'm sharing that with you.